everybody welcome welcome to a new mango stream or mango video yesterday we have been burned i played against burn so much almost every round i played against burn so today i said you know what i'm gonna bring my apples i'm gonna bring my gods and my orc champion and i'm just gonna gain all the life that's possible so also rising kind of help you to kind of mix with that but I'm gonna just gain so much life that the burn player will be quenched. Quenched? Quench? I don't know the verbs, but that's that's the that's the thing I wanna do. I wanna quench the fire of burn player. So I brought green white Heliod here, which is a, a combo deck, actually. You have a two her combo with the Heliod the Sun Crowned. Whenever you gain life, you put a plus one plus one counter on a creature and the apple, also known as Spike Feeder. Uh, you you remove a counter and you gain two life. So you do that for infinite, you gain infinite life. Obviously on Magic Online, infinite doesn't exist. So you just gain some life and pass the turn. But this, not only that, you can also actually kill your opponent with this deck. Uh, because you have Conclave Mentor that says if one or more plus one plus one counter would be put on a creature you control, you put another one. So if you have Heliod, Apple, and Conclave Mentor, you actually grow your team infinite infinite. There is another combo in the deck, which is Heliod plus Walking Ballista. If you have Heliod into play and 6 mana, you can pay 4 mana for a Walking Ballista for 2. You give it lifelink with 2 mana with Heliod's ability, and then the Ballista will be able to uh, go off, because it deals 1 damage to your opponent, it gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter, and you kill them this way. Thank you so much, Jawadi and GP Feinberg for your 25 and 10 months. That's a lot of support. I appreciate it. Sorry you're late. No, you just started. You're not late at all. It's always different when plays heavily green deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so that was there. Are the, those are the two combos, of course. And then you have a Ranger Captain Eos, which can pick up the Walking Ballista as well as Arbor Elf if you want to. And you can also sacrifice it to protect from opponent removal spell the turn you go off. And then you have Skakleave Operation, strong card. Of course, you have Collected Compagnia for all your champions to get more life against the life gain deck. In the lands, there's uh, some sweet forests. Uh, you have a Maya. You have, uh, where is it? To make so that Horizon Canopy doesn't make you lose life anymore. You have Pendlehaven, all the way from the Legends. To pump your uh, one ones, you have plenty actually, and then Bozeju Windowers. Those are forests because this deck doesn't really. Sure, you have Auric Champion and lots of double white, but you also have uh, you know Utopia Sprawl, Four Temple Garden, Fetch Lands, and so on and so forth. In the side, we have uh, some more things against uh, Rakdos decks with Sanctifier, Eidolon of Rhetoric, which is a cool card. A couple of Layla, a couple of Ending, Chalice Damping Sphere, <clears throat> Endurance, Vid of Summer, and Choke. Artichoke. I was actually wondering why does Artichoke, why is Artichoke called like that? I don't know. I don't know why I actually thought about it right now. But that's always a thing that I was wondering. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome, welcome to a new Mango stream or video. It's been a while you see this deck. Yeah, yeah, this is not a deck you see it very often. It did top 16 the modern PTQ. That's like an... Uh, a nine round event that happened this Sunday, and um, I I just wa I just was looking for some ways to gain life. I was like, what am I playing that gain life? I saw this deck, the top sixteen, and I'm like, deal, 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 deal. Mm -hmm. You were watching my channel Fireball Goblins, yeah, that's um, on channel Fireball every week. I make. Uh, I tend to make uh, legacy videos for Channel Fireball. I think that is my brand over there. Let's see. Yeah, Turbo Goblins. Turbo Goblins. It is, uh, it is the deck with Muxus. It has a new card, Twin Shot Sniper. Yeah. 
I mean, not a strong deck, but it is, the, the games are actually fun, and I didn't lose it all, so that's something. My goal is always to 3-2 at least whenever I play this uh, Brew deck. So whenever I 3-2, I... Whenever whenever I 3-2, I always uh, celebrate it. I always celebrate it. Two to two. All right, the king v w j. The king w j. All right, my hand is very good. I have go turn one four sprawl on planes, and then I can go turn two Eliod. I already have the combo. We'll see. I mean, obviously playing modern. It's a highly interactive format. This deck used to be very strong when the format was not interactive. Actually, when I didn't like modern at all, it was a pre uh, modern horizons two. This deck was dominant because the format was not interactive and this day I could just do the thing again for your life and GG WP. And that's was when I I mean I wasn't the biggest fan of modern for the longest of the time and and now I am because of Modern Horizons too. My opponent deck though doesn't really interact much. It's affinity, so it can actually do the thing here. Alright, so you took a sprawl, turns my forest into a Celestia so Sanctuary now. Okay, that's blue red affinity. So they play a uh, synthetize. Ooh, Ethereum sculptor. Sure. Hmm, another sprawl. Uh, let me go temple garden here. Be forest again. Let's go forest again and put a sprawl here and just cast Heliod. Yeah. Mm. I'll go white and I'll play Heliod and now next turn I can already get to infinite life with spike feeder but if I draw land I can actually go off with spike feeder plus conclave mentor or a champion of course uh, also helps in the in the case here bonjour everybody okay See what they do there. They just play Mystic Forge and they and I'll gain infinite life. Let's see if I draw a land so that we can like do something more about the deck. Alright. Play Memna for free. Draw. Okay. Okay, so now again this is a combo. Because you remove a plus one plus one counter you gain two life and I can do this thing forever. Now I'm gonna go uh, save targets and always yield. And now for every click I gain two life. Obviously I don't need to do this forever but I'll do this a bunch. On Magic Online, you can't go infinite. Your opponent does not uh, have to concede. Because, of course, we're playing on Magic Online, which means that um, I don't have a clear win here. So, I pass. And I can do this regardless. If opponent kills the Apple and I want to gain 50 more life, I can do that. Next turn, I can go get the um, uh, Walking Ballista, although I have to draw another land. You can say a billion life and be there. No. Be there. No. On paper, yes, but on Magic Online, you don't. You can't say anything. You have to click. Good morning, Bucky. Okay, opponent uh, draws cards at Tot Monitor. <laughs> Say it in chat. <laughs> Imagine thinking that chat matters something. Okay, so they did the thing and they passed. Now I really would like to draw land. I don't think I have. Okay. Now, what can I do in order. Now, what can I do in order to. Um, 
do I have a lethal line here? Because I can just go Conclave Mentor and increase the power of my creature, but I don't think that's going anywhere. Um, mm -mm -mm. So I can go Ranger Captain of Eos Walking Ballista and play that, but uh, I don't have a, um, a way to grow my Ballista here. So I can go Conclave Mentor and uh, increase the power of uh, both Spike Feeder and Heliod. But then again, I don't have lethal in this way. Uh, Heliod needs five. I, 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 I will only have four. Reconclave Mentor and Ranger Captain of the Osir. Hmm. I have five mana. I do not think I have a lethal line once again. Hmm. I'm going to play Ranger Captain of Yos and um, go get a Walking Ballista, which I don't really want to cast. I guess it has a X equal two if I want, because I can remove a counter, pump the Ballista. They remove another counter. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather go Conclave Mentor, I think. How much is out of excavation? Two. That's two. Okay, so here I can go uh, remove a counter. I'll put a counter on itself. And uh, the Spike Feeder, if you saw it, it g gained another counter. So the Spike Feeder is now not only gaining me infinite life, but it's also... Um, it's also getting infinite infinite. So this way my opponent has to chum block it. Which of course is not a big deal, but might as well. You get... Le you get two lethal attackers. I, I don't. Heliod isn't activate. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice the Ranger Captain of Yossi in their upkeep. So they, now they can only cast creatures. They exile a land with a Mystic Forge. Ranger Captain Ovia said summoning sickness? Yes. Alright, they can see it because next turn uh, with four with six mana. Mm, actually I didn't need six mana because I had a uh, spec feeder and alien. With four mana, I can pay walking ballista two to uh, one one. Then I can give the walking ballista lifelink. And then I can gain two life with spec feeder, put the plus one plus one counter on the ballista, and then I, I have infinite. So with four mana, I can cast the ballista for two and give it lifelink. And actually, never mind. I don't need a lifelink because I have Spike Feeder plus Aliod. I can only. I'd only need. So yes, I did have the Winless turn. Oh, because I have Mentor now. Never mind. I didn't think about Mentor. That, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I couldn't cast last turn. I couldn't cast Ranger plus Mentor plus Ballista. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I'm playing against Affinity here. Uh, I'll have. Uh, wow, nothing. Nothing really. Yeah. Yeah, o only two mana were needed this turn. I guess I'll only have a, some prismatic ending for all your champions. But one dumping sphere. Dumping sphere <laughs> makes them not able to go off with the uh, Mystic Forge. Maybe their deck is dead on fear, huh? Maybe. I don't know if Rhetoric do also want this. Maybe. Yeah, the Auric Champion doesn't seem uh, that great. Yeah, I'll try it on of Rhetoric. I 
All right, my hand is uh, laying heavy, but uh, it's fine. You took this pro, obviously, was a huge deal in uh, making me ramp up last game. Must be said, I, I opponent didn't do anything, so it wasn't uh, the hardest of the task. But we did combo. We did gain infinite life on turn four. No, on turn on turn three, because I cast Aliad on turn two and the uh, Apple on turn three. Same start as last game. The Mulligan two five. Mulligan 2-5 and kept two top jerkers. <laughs> that was not a great Mulligan 2-5. Uh, okay, I'll just go to the Sparrow with a Forest here. Naming planes as always. I like to do this because... I mean, obviously you can put a Sparrow on a dual land too, and most likely it's not, nothing bad's gonna happen. But they might just kill your non-basic land with something like Boseju or... I don't know. All right, that aside to concede the game. That's okay. I don't know why, but I guess they didn't want to do it anymore. Okay, let's go. Glue, glue, glue. Glue, glue, glue! All right, on the play. Let's go. Buongiorno, Leviathan. Uh, my hand is very medium, and they played a dream then. We don't mulligan against lures. Sure, it could be... Um, sure, it could be... Um, hammer time, and then you want to mulligan, but it can also be shadow, and you really do not want to mulligan, so... In general, I don't like the mulligan against... If, if my hand's fine. My hand is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. What well, property did you play Helio today? Uh, the fact that yesterday I played against only burn decks, I'm assuming that burn decks raised up because of the number of that shadow. Uh, I want to gain life against burn. That is my my goal today. Good morning, Tia. Because when a, when a deck raises to the top, like raises that shadow, you have two options. One is to complain on Twitter, quit the format, and say that it's unplayable because your deck doesn't win anymore because you don't want to adjust. Or the other one is to play a deck that has a good matchup against it. I think both uh, strategies are viable. All right, Blood Crypt Steam Man. So that is indeed the Shadow of Death. And you just play a couple of 1-1s. One All right. The third option is to play Grexus. Yep, definitely. So you don't have Delirium yet, but I'm sure you're gonna get there. I got another Temple Garden since there's nothing to... Um, yeah, fake my trophy, but that's not really gonna work in big events. It's gonna work in the small simple size events like leagues. Okay, uh, what do I do here? So I could go Apple, but it's probably gonna just die to a removal spell, so that's not great. So I think I'm just gonna go Skyclave Operation. I shouldn't have played Yavimaya. I should have just gone for Fetch for Planes, because now my opponent can decide to not crack their land if they have to pay colorless. But that deck doesn't really have that many colorless things, so... Yeah, the thing is that playing a deck that beats the deck that tries to beat the B, sorry, so there's A deck, and then there's the B decks that beat only the A decks, right? And choosing the deck that loses to the A deck and beats the B deck, it's usually a failing strategy in the um, high, in the big events in the like seven or eight round event. It might be a successful strategy in the leagues because the leagues are uh, smaller events with, uh, uh, you know, not that much dedication. So that might work there, but. 
Are there certain example people doing well with decks that are bad versus most played deck? Yeah, Leviathan. I think I want to mention my case. It was uh, the PT Oko, where I played Bant Oko that was bad against Field of the Dead, but it was good against uh, uh, the deck that tried to beat Field of the Decks, like uh, Gruul, Mon Red. Um, you know, Javier and uh, Lish Etienne chose the path of beating Field of the Dead, so they played Gruul. Whereas I, me and Marcio, we chose the path of beating the decks that beat Field of the Dead, but having a slightly negative matchup against Field of the Dead. In, I mean, I, I made top four losing to Field of the Dead in the both elimination match because it was a double elimination, so I lost. Uh, I only lost in that event. I only lost to Jean Manuel de Bra on Field of the Dead, and I beat uh, everything else. So yeah, that that is the that is the example that came to my mind. All right, I'm gonna go main face company here for sure. I play Canopy, which doesn't make me lose life. All right, do I have the combo? I don't. Okay, I certainly want the Scatleaf operation on the Dragon's Rage Channeler. So I'll do that. Uh, what else do I want to do? I think I want to do Heliod. Yeah, it has to be Heliod. I have Spec Theater in my hand. That was a very lucky company, huh? I basically was a... I mean, not as lucky as just finding Heliod plus Spike Theater, because that would have been infinite life, but still, very lucky. Yeah, Bant Flash was uh, the following PT, where uh, the team of uh, Javier, Brad Nelson came up with the Simic Flash, whereas I came up with Simic Ramp. So in that event, I wanted to beat uh, uh, John the Food and uh, GS Sky Fires, and uh, they came up with a deck that beat my deck and GS Sky Fires, and was bad against John the Food. So, yeah, it was... Those were the, I think, the the the... the, the Okay, now what do I do? Huh, I love this draw. Ranger Captain of Yoss is good here. I'm thinking about just attacking and playing the Ranger. With Ranger, you would have protected the combo. Yeah, but then they have the ch I understand what you mean, Tia. I should have taken Ranger and Heliod, so the next turn I, I protect the combo. But what if they discard a Spike Feeder with a discard spell? Or, I don't know, just um, counter my Walking Ballista. I just needed to deal with this, I think. Alright, here I want to attack and pump the Sky Cleave. Sorry, I'm, and give it lifelink. Because I think they don't have Death Shadow. Because if they had Death Shadow, they would have for sure played it here. I'm gonna give this Life Link. And if you want to spend a removal spell to kill the Skyclave Operation, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> you do that, please. Gregor Kowalski, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but that choice was pretty crazy since everyone knew that uh, Epiphany was going to be the most popular deck and the best deck. So I don't know how much I agree with that choice. All right, here I fetch because I need to get planes in order to not take damage from the Canopy. Uh, I play this thing, which will be countered, and I move on. Spindleven makes Ballista combo cheaper. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Pendleven makes the Ballista a, a one-two base, so that you can ping yourself. You can ping your. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it makes it cost five mana. Looking forward to giving that Shadow Life Link. Ooh, that's true. If you give that Shadow Life Link, the Shadow dies because they deal you like let's say Shadow is a five-five. They attack you. They deal you five damage. And then uh, uh, the shadow dies after dealing five damage. Uh, Ranger, Captain of Eos ability, yes. 
I'll get walking barista and you can go. Assuming I'm not dead, exactly, assuming I'm not dead. You go dress down, UT. Okay, does Heliod become a creature? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. You might think I should have done this main phase. That's true, maybe. I honestly didn't think about the fact that Heliod was going to be a creature. But I also assumed that they would have done something to my Skycleave attack play, you know? Not necessarily uh, sure about it, but... Anyway, now, now Heliod is just a 5-5. Five -five. They can kill it with um, an Oli Heat. Alright, they play Shadow. They play Krotza. Oh, this stays in play, but doesn't make me discard. Sure. They have one card in it? I just win next turn. What's the last card? If they don't do anything here, I easily win, because they have sucked their Ranger. Yeah, this game should be over here. I untap and draw. I want to... Yeah, just uh, sacrifice the Ranger. Now, they can't cast non-creature spells. I don't care if Helio can't attack anymore. Now I go... Well, I think I just go Ballista X equal 4. I want to go X equal 3. No, nah, I think X equal... Yeah, that was the best. So I go X equal uh, 2, sorry, not 4. I mean, 4 mana. And then I give this lifelink. And then I remove a counter, deal a damage to face, I gain life. And then I have an infinite combo here. I'm gonna go save targets. And I'll lose yield. And this is an infinite combo, and because of Ranger, they can't uh, do anything about this, so. Yeah, X is one pen I would discuss, I know, but it, I, I just had the lethal kill, so I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> but yeah, I could have I could have went on five mana. Uh, okay, so I'm playing against the Great Sea I'm gonna bring in this uh, Veil of Summer, so that's four, Sanctifier. Man, this is a lot of good cards. Sanctifier and Veil of Summer must be the two best cards against Race of the Shadow. So that's eight cards. Uh, what do I cut in this matchup? All right, I'm going to keep our champion. <sighs> is it uh, a couple of Spike Feeder? Maybe like three Conclave Mentor. Maybe it's just... Um... Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm just throwing some pieces of the combo. You want to cut Arbor Elf on the draw? I, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to do that. Mm, poor little Arbor Elf. Counter Company hits. A 26. It tells you here. 26. You know that when I uh, top the a PT with Company, uh, I had a rule that was don't go lower than 22. 22 is so little. I can't believe that was my rule. And I also never not got two creature out of my company the whole event. So... <laughs> oh, because Ballista is 25. Okay, sure. 22 is so little, but that was my rule then. Alright, Skull and Tar. Channeler. Mm -hmm. Do I want to bolt the bird? I think so. Not only Channeler is a creature that attacks, it also fixes their draws. So let's get rid of it. 
Yeah, <laughs> I know. That was very little. That's good here. They take Heliod. Yep. Very hard to beat this card. Okay. I'm mm, gonna go forced. Yeah. That was like a draw company. Let's see if they kill my creature. They don't. They just shock end of turn. That means they have a lot of lands, in my opinion. Is it a bird? No, but I have a theory. It's just when you're in the draw and you have a removal spawn, they play any creature. I just treat it as if it's a bird. You just kill it. You just bolt the bird. Esper Sentinel is different. Yeah, Thoughts is a good card. All right, Johnson, what you do? Grazza. Okay. And then this card, uh, I think ending. And I cast company. They're 12, so they can go shock land, uh, sorry, fetch land, uh, play a 4 4. But I'd rather keep Sky Cleave. Any arena tonight? Yeah, after after this league, I'm gonna play arena. There is the, the, the PT coming on in a few. In few days. All right, let's go. Company, boom. I hit Heliod and Oryx Champion. That's nice. Uh, okay. Oryx Champion having protection for black or red obviously relevant. They said, sweet lord, yeah, sweet lord. Sweet lord, baby Jesus! My opponent played the actual god, Heliod, sun crowned. What is my thoughts is that going to do against it? All right, two cards. They can't fetch and bring back Kroxa. They don't have enough cards. Ooh, they bring back Luridus. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Creature? Hmm. I don't have any Luridus to bring back, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to give a lifelink to this. Could crack the canopy, but I don't want to do that. I like my lands. And attack with both. And I pump the champion. I pump the champion. Uh, I was close to just go sky cleave attack with Elliot. I didn't think about it. I must be. I must say, I could have done it. Yeah, I could have gone sky cleave pump the pump uh, attack with with all. But I wouldn't have killed my opponent. So I'm not sure that I like that. Dress down. Yeah. There's Bozeju. There's one Bozeju in this deck. Do we have all the landing kids to bring back Kroxa? If they bring back Kroxa, aren't they dead? Maybe I was supposed to hold the land. Yeah, maybe. But they brought back Lurus, so I think. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If they bring back. Yeah, they just cast Lurus. Oh, I gain a life. Sweet! I'm gonna pump my Sky Avaric Champion again. <laughs> yes! We gained a life, so I pumped the champion again. Zikate! That's so cool. This combination is really nice. Carbo Life doesn't show Bozeju. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, okay. Alright, I'll, um... Alright, just pretend it's there, then. They play Kruxa from the graveyard. Mm, I think I want to cast uh, Veil of Summer. Just to cantrip. And then I discard Pendelaven. Kind of random to be honest, but whatever. Uh, 
I uh, display this and I have lethal because I gain a life oh yeah also yeah whatever super super mega lethal all right let's go to zero to zero Yeah, there's one Boseju. I net deck the, the player who made the top 16 of the PTQ, and I removed the force for a Boseju. Boseju is still 40 ticks, so you can assume that people are making uh, deck building choices based on card availability. 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 Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Availability. 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 So basically in America you say T, you pronounce it D with T instead. Let me repeat it. Availability. 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 Okay. What about Australia? Wait, where's Australia? There's even Jamaica, there's no Australia? See that bit. Availability. 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 Okay. You always wondered, why does deck fall out of favor? Because there's so much good interaction in these days. There wasn't before. Like Fury, Solitude, Anoli Heat. Stuff like that. No Force of Vigor. No Force of Vigor. Yeah, that might be another... Re not another... That might be another. Uh, not really though. There's just no graveyard hate whatsoever. No artifact hate whatsoever in the chat in the side. I'm guessing they have a very good matchup against uh, uh, artifact decks. I meant artifact, not not graveyard. Sorry. Okay, my opponent reveals Lurus, so I keep any hand with land and spells. I'm playing your favorite deck. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what's RP, but whatever. <laughs> Curving corrosion better than force of vigor. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh, the sun crowd. I think they have the face of somebody wanting to bolt my bird. But uh, I guess I'm here for it. Arbor Elf, go! And by the way, um, you wanted me to take out Arbor Elf previous game, right? And uh, what happened, I cast Company in turn 3, when they were topped out on turn 3. So, Arbor Elf was very good here. Contentant, yeah. Alright, my opponent goes push and crab without a land. Hmm. Okay. I am a little... Oh, fuck, game, life gain is not gonna go... It's not gonna do much. Very scared of fetching. I think I'm gonna try and avoid fetch for the foreseeable future here. Yeah, but like, it's a one mana threat that demands an answer. Don't have land. No, feel the ruin. All right. But they don't have land yet to, to turn on the field of ruin. Nice, that's another non-fetch land. Um, mm, I'll play, I think, Heliod. Simon Bianco, can I take one white? So I play Heliod here. And I don't want to play fetch land again, it's the same reason. I don't want to go under the archive trap. This matchup is not great. It probably isn't. But next turn, I can pump my team. And maybe I was supposed to pick up Spike Feet to play Spike Feeder here so that I could have attacked with both. Yeah, maybe. But I just wanted this to resolve against the thoughts as they had it. Yabamaya, nice. This is more ways to, um, yeah, to dodge, uh, no, but to dodge uh, uh, fetch land. Okay, so I go spike feeder, and I go conclave mentor. And obviously, life gain is not relevant, but I can now pump my team. Allora, uh, remove uh, gain to life. 
And now, because a conclave mentor I can, um, yeah, just pump everybody. So for now, I just do this because I saved the target of Elliot onto here. But after this becomes like an 18-18, I can uh, uh, re remove that. Yeah, so I want this to be like um, a, a tint at 2020. Now I can click five, so I remove all the auto yield, and I gain, um, remove a plus one plus one counter, gain two life, and I'll put the plus one plus one counter here. And now I go save targets, always yield. So that now I will move the counters around, okay? This gets two counter. And you will be like, why do you do this now? Because come on, why don't you do it? It's so fun. All right, now I click five again. And I go remove uh, here. And then I go save targets. And then I go auto yield. And then I pump it all again. Huh? Isn't it so fun? But like, no, Mango, it's not. Okay, I guess we enjoy the different things. It's fine. All right, now I click five, and I go uh, remove, gain two life. I put here again. And I go save targets, and I go always yield. And this, if you don't like do all these key things, um, it might take a long time, whereas like that's super quick. And there's no way to automate it, but I mean, it's basically automated. I lost how much? Two minutes. I didn't lose any time. People say that this deck, you can't play a magical line because of a reasons, can't go infinite, blah, blah, blah. But that's not true. You literally take a second per click. You're just lazy. Okay, I pass. Glue, glue, glue. Yeah, I understand, Mr. Red, but yeah. The matchup against Shadow can be grindy, but I can also just overrun you easily. Okay, I win because they never hit land. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, I'll bring in some Endurance, uh, Veil of Summer, Ley Line of Sanctity is good against Archive Trap, and it's good against the Hedron Crab. So my opponent didn't play um, didn't play any uh, archive trap because it never fetched, and maybe they had you know archive trap plus uh, the draw three card. So that's good that uh, um, by not fetching you just don't enable that. Uh, anyway, mm, I think I want the ending as answer to the as answer to the uh, the thing. Okay, so I want to cut some apples. I think. I definitely want to cut Auric Champion. Maybe a couple of apples. Because life gain is irrelevant in this matchup. Really irrelevant. Just like it doesn't matter at all. Chalice on one is epic against Mel. Sure. But I'm on the draw. I cast it on turn two. They already played over their one drop. Chalice of the Void. You don't play Ancient Tomb. Or Mox Diamond. It's it's coming down on turn two. And in theory, they already played their one drop. And I mean, it's not like Crack the Earth where they play like 35 one drops. Uh, so we have the um, unfortunate situation of Arbor Elf plus Horizon Canopy. Unfortunately, when that happens, you just accept what life is, which is sometimes big disappointment. And you mulligan. All right. Um, I keep on from this hand isn't great either, but Otawire Ruin Crab, okay. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Green Tron, yes, for sure, it's competitive in modern. Shoot a mulligan to five? Yeah, maybe. It's not a big mulliganer. Mm, I'm gonna, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna fetch because they might mill all my temple guard, and they almost did. <laughs> They almost milled all my temple garden. Okay. And they go archive drop. So I have exactly 20 cards in my deck. But this is this was not a game I could have uh, played around um, archive trap, okay? So there's the games where you can and the games where you can't. And it's important that you understand uh, what game is which? Which game is which? <sighs> there used to be a time where mill was very popular and I always had a play um and a draz in my sideboard. <laughs> you know, I missed the point to the face because I have six. I don't think it's gonna be very relevant. All right, I don't even have a, uh, any lands left. Wait, they don't feel they're ruining me? Okay. I'm gonna kill the crab because the hedron crab actually targets you. Funnily enough, I mean, think all my opponent didn't do this play earlier. So now I can go Veil of Summer, so I don't get uh, uh, targeted by the crab, and only get milk for three. We have two cards in end. Hello, Juju Bean. Um, this list comes from uh, top 16 of a PTQ. <laughs> All right, I have 10 cards in my deck. Okay. Well, I don't think I can ever win this game, but... Um, uh, I don't know. I'll still be clicking buttons until uh, my, my deck size reaches zero. They did a return lures. I guess there's nothing because I exiled everything, but maybe they have like only lands. Okay. I'm gonna choose white. And cast my Heliod here. Doo, doo, doo. I have nine cards in my deck. And I have no Eldrazi, so. You have two cards and you play Drown, okay. I don't even want to check what I've left. All right. <laughs> Opponent is in a spot where they need both uh, uh, land or spell to kill me. Which is not a great spot to be in, I have to say. Being dead to both land and spell, it's quite a, it's quite a tough situation. Alright, let me check what I have left in my deck. I have Arbor Elf and Walking Barista. Okay. So this... This company is not really happening here. They push my creature. Okay, they have no cards in end. I wish I attacked first now. I would have taken two damage there. All right, I have five cards in my deck. Dead to a fetch land, dead to a mill card. 
I don't know, I hope you draw like surgical or like those dead cards that middle player usually play. Crypt Incursion. Okay. They 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 just gained uh, sixty life. They just gained sixty life. Sixty life. Oh fine, right, sixty life. Yeah, I don't think I can get infinite, right? Walking by Lisa plus Conclave Mentor, it's not a combo, so I don't have anything left in my deck. Alright. I mean, again, I would have just died to literally any spell. This game was over. It'll probably on turn two. Okay, now I'm on the play for game number. Okay. Leland of Sanctity protects me from a couple of cards. Hedron Crab, Archive Trap, Crypt Incursion. Do I want it? I already have Veil of Summer that does that. Do we have Eliod yet? Yeah, they were uh, they were all milled. You want to play choke? Hmm. You want to play choke? Interesting card. You want to play choke? Okay. Can get behind that. I'm gonna cut some ranger. Ranger doesn't look particularly good to me. Uh, I guess it does. Uh, I have to kill them with uh, damage, so I need a ranger plus ballista combo. Now I'm gonna have Sanct the ley line, but. Leyline is very beatable. Ruin Crab, Fracture Sanity, Tasha Zidius Lauther, all discarded on target. Alright, my hand's good. I'm gonna try not to have a Prismatic Ending. Sorry, Prismatic Vista. Yeah, we could have chosen one, of course. I just don't like it. All right, they start Dark Look Shore. I hope they don't draw choke. Okay, Skyclave Operation. Um, I guess I'm fine in just fetching through my deck here with Ranger. Yeah. No, I maybe just want to go Apple. Yeah, I want to go Apple here. Remember, whenever you fetch one way or another, you give them the option to mill you with the Archip Trap and then draw cards with the um, with the other card with the um, Visions of Beyond. So, not fetching is very good. Okay. So they go Crab, fetch land, Enables push? It does enable push. <laughs> Is that another crab? Like now I have sixteen cards in my in my grave six cards in my graveyard. If I'd fetch and they have archive trap, I would have had twenty cards in my graveyard. Because that's the fourteen I miss. So you see all those little things definitely can add up against mill. You can beat an Ancestor Recall if it's on turn 4, but if it's on turn 2 or 1, it's pretty unbeatable. Yeah, now I have 4 mana, I'll go Company for sure. But last turn, I mean, um, casting the... I mean, just fetching. I, I already had, um, I mean, sorry, casting the Ranger Captain of Eos searches through your deck. Yeah, we will see if next turn I want to go Company or Skyclave Operation. I can't just go Skyclave Operation and not fetch. Unless I draw a land, in which case I'm going Company. A land that isn't a fetch land, in which case I'm going Company. Opponents deep in the tank. I wonder why. Do they have Surgical? Opponent, come on! Is my internet gone? You surgical Heliod. Okay. Alright, so I don't have Heliods anymore. Goodbye, Heliods. 
Now I have to win on beatdown. But I can. Definitely can. I mean. So, no more combo deck, just green white um, mid, mid, mid range. With uh, 3 mana 2 2 no abilities. <laughs> the apple. Alright, you exiled all, successfully exiled my Eliods. Hmm. Five cards. Draw. I draw Canopy, so now I can go land um, company. And I hit two Skycliff Operation. And a tap for two. Better than nothing. Better than uh, one skag leave operation, I guess. They play a second island, so now choke is good indeed. And they mill me for. I have a, I have forty cards in the deck. They mill me for fourteen, so I go to twenty six. Okay, draw. I certainly do not want to. Uh, play Ranger Captain of Eos here since they don't want to first search through my deck. Ooh, Endurance. This is a good card. I am going to cast it. To put back 21 cards. Do I want to wait to put back more than 21 cards? I don't think so. I think 21 cards is enough. I go back to 45. 45 is infinite cards in my deck, and I have a just lethal in play, so I think it's perfect. All right, that's a, that's a win. In a matchup that felt pretty hard, so that was a, a very lucky draw. All right, I have to take a bathroom break. I'll be back in a minute. We are 3-0 after an hour of game. All right, be back in a minute. Okay, let's continue with the apple. Mill lost the pog, I agree. Every time a mill loses, an angel gets its wings. I agree with those statements. Okay, let's go. Against the Eggy Benny. I have a uh, pretty medium A and that they have lures. So we don't mulligan. <laughs> Eggy Benny. Why people hate me so much? 
Alright, my opponent has said hello to chat. So people hate me so much. Cause he just doesn't really interact. Decks that don't interact are just the worst in magic. Interaction is why we like magic over other games. Oh no, Ragaban! That's too much interaction. Alright. Hello, actually, a cute bunny. Have you had any click epic games yet? Click epic games yet. I don't know what that means. But yeah, we're 3 0. So remember, when you win, it's always happy games and great games. And you had a lot of fun. And when you lose, it's a lucky bad game of bundlers. Inquisition of Kozilek. Alright, my hand is full of medium cards. But I probably have to take the medium cards that cost it cheaper. So that we... What did he exile? A land? Yeah. <sighs> oh wow, they took the apple? Cool. We got planes. I'll play Grizzly Bear and pass. Is this the third Grizzly Death Shadow? No, it's the second. We played against Affinity, Shadow, and Mill. And now Shadow. Alright, I always have Thoughtseize. That's fine. You can take anything you want. As long as you give me a land on top of the deck. Okay? Let's do this deal, opponent. Pushy pushy. They need a creature in the graveyard or an artifact to get the Lyrian. Oh, dress down. Okay. Is Kabod therapy too good for modern to be reprinted? Maybe not. It's also challenging. Definitely a fun card. What's that? Yeah, Plains of Forest. Ooh, that's true. What's that card? I don't remember. You're really bad versus for color control. That's what I thought, honestly. I don't think anyone is favored against Grixis Shadow, and whoever says that is probably wrong. But um, I definitely think that this deck can beat Shadow. But it loses badly too for color control. Lend? Oh, a 2 2. I wouldn't mind drawing a Diora Champion. I also have Sanctifier and Vac in the side, a couple of Endurance and Veil of Summer and Prismatic Ending. Bonjour, Nukira. Alright, I trade with Ragaban. They probably have another one, but that's what it is. Okay. Draw land. Almost. Oh, almost. Almost a land. I still believe here. I still believe. As long as I have a company and four mana, I believe. I can go Alluris Bubble. Yeah, Mikroman. I have me I make plenty of videos on YouTube channel, but I'm also live every day, so. Alright, they passed with mana up. That means they have drawn in the lock, so that means they do nothing and pass the turn. Kazali Ambusher. Yeah, that's the card. Right? Let's see, Kazali Ambusher. 3 mana 2 3. If, if a creature is attacking you and you control a forest and the planes, you may play this card. Yeah, so you can just ambush this for free against Ragaban. That's fun if it happens. <laughs> Alright, attack me down to 15, to 5, sorry, not 15. And then I play a company in the turn, they go drawn in the lock. And now I untap, draw another one in combo. Write it down. That's, that's what's gonna happen. 
That's what's gonna happen here. Collected compagnia. Ziggity zaggity ziggity. Drawn in the lock. Hey. Draw another company. It's happening. I draw another company. For sure. Because Ali Ambusher, never seen play, no. Maybe in standard, but I don't remember, honestly. Company. It's fine, don't worry. I'll draw a spike feeder next turn and I'll go infinite life. Yeah, we are afraid of the monkey connecting. Good to. Alright, I'm gonna fetch down a one. I feel like the top of the deck uh, was not a spec feeder. And now it is, though. Boom! Spike feeder! Okay, cats, I'm gonna get a Tris. Tris de Merda. Alright, good game. Could give my opponent a opponent creature life link, too. The card after? Unfortunately, not enough. You need six mana to combo here. Heliotron? Yeah, we made Heliot the Tron. <laughs> Allora, Endurance, Veil of Summer, Sanctifier, and Prismatic Ending. Taken out. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, let's take out Arbor Elf on the play. Let's take out uh, some Spike Feeder and some Conclave Mentor. A Basta. Let's go. Chalice has to be good here. In which matchup do you want Leyline? Uh, Leyline, I want it against uh, Burn, Culture. I, I don't like Chalice. I'm sorry. You can, you can, you can bring in Chalice. I don't, I don't like Chalice. Chalice is for zero for me. When I see a Chalice of the Void in Modern, I just uh, play it for zero. Yeah, you give Death Shadow Life Link. You can do that. Yep. Can you play Thoughtseize? Hey, kick out, so. Okay. I wanted to cast a one mana cryptic command. Draw. Uh, do I want to play Ending? Yeah. Come on, opponent, just play a Discord spell. Just be nice, just play a Discord spell. Come on, Discord spell. <laughs> I'll take two, I'll go to 17. It's not that good, uh, Ragaban against me. I just, you can't cast anything that's relevant. Do I keep on believing that uh, they might play a Discord spell, so I go Conclave Mentor here? Or do I just stop believing? Don't stop believing! Alright chat, you play your league, you put Chalice of the Void in your sideboard, you sideboard it in. I don't do that, I know that you like to point it out every single game against any matchup, but I don't do it. I don't like Chalice of the Void, I think it's a bad card. 
If you play on turn two on the play and they don't have cool against command or uh, whatever, sure, you got a great card. But you also play one drop in your deck. Turak? Is this this card at least? Oh, okay, finally. I'll go Forest, and I'll go Veil of Summer. All right. Protection for white is annoying. Ooh, it's a 2-1. Nice. So Ranger Captain is better? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, I go Captain. Unfortunately, I don't have land. I also don't have a... a ra oh, maybe I should... I should always keep an Arbor Elf in my, in my deck for this case, I think. Yeah. I have four cards, one of which is a Ragaban. Thank you, Neil Drox, for chipping in. I should have sacrificed the ranger here in response, I know that, but uh, the value of just uh, F6-ing and put your hands on the hand warmer is higher to me. Alright, I have to trade with this. It's not that I have to, I want to. I gain two life, that's not bad. Alright, can I draw land? Die, Terra. Almost, almost! Almost a land shot, almost a land. Okay, what about now? I have three mana, I can... Uh, I can just play a Heliod. Nah, I'll just play another of these and pass with a handful of useless card. I don't know, I should have probably played Heliod. Okay, I have two cards in hand and I know I know nothing. I should probably don F6 this time around. <sighs> I take 5 down to 10. The card is protection for white. The other one is flying. I really should draw my freaking protection from white and black card. The castle saw in a book from red and black card. F6. You know that they do much, but at least they take out delirium, they gain me life. They have one card in hand. You just return Lurus, I'm assuming here. Mm, okay, yeah, I'm teaching that card. Okay, sure. It's kind of operation. Not bad. Um so I'm assuming gear they have a drone in the lock, but uh, that's probably my life, so... I have to make them cast the drown in the lock. I'll do that in upkeep. So they just drowned me and that's okay. Mr. Offner, thank you. Ooh, but oh, that's so many good cards! They don't have a counter spell, and I find Endurance and Sanctifier and Vec. And Apple. Alright, so Apple is good with Eliot, I gain infinite life. Sanctifier and Vec? It's probably not good with anything, right? I'm just gonna go Endurance Spike Feeder. Yeah. Let me remove the F6. Endurance? Spike Feeder. Okay. Any order. Endurance? Zakete. Protection for white? Not here. Not today. If they would return lures, they would... MTG bad card. Don't always assume that my opponent's playing perfect. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll love to make conclusion based on how they play, but I don't know. Sometimes, ooh, explosives on three? No, <laughs> no. Can I get back my sanctifier and back? I'll I'll change it now. Okay, I'll take the sanctifier over 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 apple. So they have to take three damage here. I gain four life. They don't have delirium still. Yeah, they had explosives in end probably. But I don't know why they didn't return Lurus. Nah, they must have drawn this. What do they have in end? I think they have a removal spell like um, yeah, one of those uh, unknown heat or push card. Okay, I gain two life, 
And then I gain two life, and then I play company, and I feel it. I have a Heliod plus Spike Feeder on top. Actually, I think I boarded out to two Spike Feeder. So there's only one Spike Feeder left in my deck. But Sansa, oh, that's okay. Draw. Uh. Do I spin the wheel? I think I want to just go Barista, kill both. Do you like this play? Barista. Or just Barista go. Oh, one exactly Ragaban? That's true, so I ran out of Spike Feeder. I could go Company, but also get unlucky. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna go Barista, like Barista. And pass. I don't even... It's risky to pass. Okay, I'll kill this. And pass now. They attack me? I block. They don't attack me. Do you return this lures or just forgot it exists? Yeah. Okay, they return lures. Draw. Pendeleven! Pendeleven! Bello Pendeleven! Hehe! <laughs> Pendeleven! Draw the You have resubbed for the coffee icon? Yeah, that's a special badge. Third month. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Rock. Allah. Ballista doesn't die with Pain 11. Well, it dies after. Do I attack? So they have three cards in hand. They might easily have drawn in the lock. Skyclipper should doesn't kill this. I think I'm going to just cast another Ballista here. You have Dran in the lock? This way I keep the company. I killed the Turak. I attack for two. We depend 11. How's that? Terminate. Okay, my walking barista has been terminated. You go to six, ex Eggy Benny. Modern player always use so many acronyms. You don't know what you're talking about. What what makes you worried? What what, what do you don't understand? Pen eleven, terminate again. Dio my My poor creatures, don't terminate them. Totsies. Vangino, Vangino, you can take anything you want. You can take anything you want. Okay. DRC, GDS, yeah. DRC is Death Ray Shaman, GDS is Grixis Shadow. Alright, so I'm gonna go Sun Crowd. They have Ali they have Lurus in end. Do I also wanna go Skyclave Operation? I think so. They can go lures and then what? Yeah, I think I want to go Skycleave Operation. Even if it does nothing, next turn it can't attack. Bye bye. I got nothing. Three mana two two. Your turn. Next turn I can cast another one and attack with Eliod. Because that will be um, what do you say? Devotioned? I don't know. Just it will become a creature next turn. Death for Shaman is a DTS, I think. But I don't know. Death Ray Shaman, it's, it's a while. DRC, DR, DRS. Yes, that's right, Death Ray Shaman. That's true. But it wasn't really big into Twitter magic and acronyms when Death Ray Shaman was a thing. So I was just calling it Death Right. That was a good time. Death Ray Shaman. I won three PTQs with uh, Death Ray Shaman in, 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 in modern. No, two PTQs. Two PTQs. The one after with John Death Row was already banned. Alright, so you go Lurs and Darcy. Okay. And Totsies. No, come Totsies. Cazzo. Alright, you're one life. 
Drop. Manacha. Manaja! Why did it cause this for no value last turn? Yeah, am I losing this game? I think so. Should have played land because nowadays. Should have definitely not played. Uh, I would have won if I had keep the other win. Ay, ay, ay. Now you play Turak. I have like no outs. I played both of my walking ballista. Whoa, they don't kick her. Attention, a company. Attention, a chat. No, no drawing in the lock. No, ma porca puttana. Ma come drawing in the lock. Ma come drawing in the lock. You attack with Panda 11? This is a land. You attack with a land? This guy is lucky, but I just topped the company. How are they the ones that are lucky? And I'm not. I don't understand. So opponent has drawn perfect. But I drew company now, that's fine. Let me get into the magic player uh, mind one second. Is the lack only on the opposite side? You forgot targets of 1-1. One, one. Well, how can you... You just... A land that gives plus 1, plus 2? <laughs> with no downside to any creature. Cool against command. Okay, well, yeah, that's not bad. Alright, I lose. It's over. Thank you, opponent. It's been fun. It's been fun. Alright, let's get to, to the final match. They're lucky to... Yeah, right? They're so lucky. They always draw lures every game. Every game they cast Lurus on curve on turn five. Pretty pretty unfair, honestly. Uh, good game, uh, Eggy Benny. Yeah, I probably punted that game like 17 times. Mostly I punted when I just cast an empty Skeklive Operation and you punished me with the Thoughtseize there. Yeah, I should have just not done it. That's okay, no worries. No worries! Alright, I go to the play for round five. Hmm. Play against the new card. What does it do? It has an ability companion. Alright, that's an interesting ability. Each five. Okay, okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Alright, I'm gonna go Prismatic Vista for a Forest, and then what do I want to name here? I think I want to name green so that then I can cast Devil Sprawl next turn. If I name white, uh, no, I, th I think this is better. Yeah, four out of five against Lurus. That's I think that's above average. I think coverage is slightly more. All right, they go forest ancient steering. So that's probably um, uh, what's it called? Um, Harden scales. I just noticed the picture on Utopia Sprawl. That's really cool. Tron. Yeah, the famous uh, um, Lurus Tron. 
You go Tron and then you just go walking ballista. You pump the ballista forever. <sighs> Ancient Steerings, and a very sweet card. You basically have this card in standard these days. It's called, I think, Commune with Nature. Zeta! Thank you, Zeta. Land? Zeta, can you give me a land? Zeta, come on. Appreciate it, Prime Sub. Blanco e Blanco. And now I have my land that produces four mana. Green, green, white, white. What did they find? They find Hagabakwoka. Urza Saga. Is Boseju not a basic? It's not a basic. Draw land, and not a win. Four of a kind. You don't four of a kind very often in magic, but here we are. Uh, okay, what do I do? I, I should have probably actually gone Ranger Captain of Eos Arbor Elf. That was a mistake. Cat, so that was a mistake. A nutch. All right, do I go Sky Cleave on the Angerbeck Walker? Boseju? Boseju says non-basic. You're welcome, Zita. Ghost Quarter. Yeah, Ghost Quarter. Ghost Quarter is bad now. Er, Spreading Sea is also bad. I just regret so much my play. I could have gone Ranger into Arbor Elf. That would have been so good. Eh, Bova Bellas to still do that. I know it's not great, but... I think it's still fine. You can go infinite life? What do you mean? Arkbar Ravager, okay. Okay, I have six mana a year. I definitely want to go a Skyclip Operation. So I'm going Skyclave Operation here on uh, Arba Ravager. Cause this thing has to die. I don't care. What do I plan to play after this league? Uh, historic, historic of Magic Arena. Video game incoming. Okay. Now I play Arbor Elf. Unfortunately, I couldn't have played our champion because they only had three white. I want to play Arbor Elf because this card gives me five mana Arbor Elf here. Man, I would have... I would have had so much mana destroyed if I only played Arbor Elf. Okay, so they have a new Arbor Ravager, unfortunately. You told me I wouldn't have played Skyclave there. All right, you pass. Can I draw a combo piece? No. Okay, so I go Oryx Champion. And then I go Heliod. Put a plus one, plus one counter somewhere. I don't, I don't think it matters at all here, honestly. Yes. Hey, where do I put it? I don't know, here. This is literally the most random place I could think of. A hey, pass, because definitely not attacking. I'm only sitting down waiting to draw, I don't know, something. Yeah, this ranger should have probably got me uh, the other card here. MTG, yes. All my... Um, I always try to make all this 
stream into videos on YouTube. Oh, yeah, it's true. I pump everyone here. Yeah. They're lethal next turn. Eh, whatever. I'll die. I'll die. Can Helio put counter? No, I think I'll go on creatures. Oh yeah, what are enchantment? Wow, I didn't know that. Helio can put counter on the gods of Zabaz. Babina, babina. So that's 16. I'm going to assume I die, but uh, I'll just let him do it. You like my hoodie? Yeah. 15 plus 8, 23. That's 27. All right. GG. GG. Okay, I'll go to the sideboard. I think I punted this game. I don't think it would have mattered, though, because I just didn't draw payoffs and I died. Maybe I should have taken Walking Ballista here, but... Yeah, exactly. 15 plus 18. That's basically that. Alright, anyone in the chat wants to me wants to suggest me to bring in Chalice of the Void? Chat. My opponent plays one drop. Should we have a Chalice of the Void? You should probably just play a Prison deck. I think Twitch chat would love to play a Prison deck. All right, I actually don't have any cyber card for this matchup. But I'm mad. I do think that going to infinite life is relevant, huh? You should clearly play Dumping Sphere. Dumping Sphere? Madonna mia, ma che cazzo vecchia? Why? But I don't understand. What's wrong with bad artifact cards that make you card disadvantage. Why do magic player love card disadvantage? Uh, to bring it two cards. I think our, our champions. Yeah, classic. I played this deck only to beat burn. I played against zero burn. Just the classic. You bought a jacket with a hoodie like this? Yeah. Hashtag sponsored. Unfortunately, this is a green deck with no force of vigor. Yeah, I honestly added Boseju, which of course it never drew. And maybe my opponent deck made deck choices based off of budget because they don't have Endurance or Boseju. Sorry, Force of Vigor or Boseju. Force of Vigor is like 50 ticks on Magic Online. It's always weird to like net deck and then it's missing, you know, some cards. You're like, mm, did I thought about it or just budget it out? So, I don't know. Yeah. I've been suggested that once you add life gain card to your deck, the magic online matchmaking only pairs you against decks that don't care about life gain. Arbor of Possession is a weird combo. Yeah, it is, but <laughs> yeah. Does that must be said for every other land in the deck? Plain Cyber Elf is also a bad combo. Branch of Pathway Arbor Elf is indeed a bad combo. Okay, they go Arbor, they go that thing. Oh, I have a combo turn three, cat. So, eh, opponent, how about you just let me combo and die? Eh, let's do that. Actually, though, I'm kind of afraid of Arden Scales. No, no, cats. So I just, I just want to do the thing. Yeah, I just want to do the thing here. I came here to do the thing. I don't want to do the thing. You do your, you play your Anger Back Walker, and I just do the thing. That's called Scurry Oak. That that's a deck in um, 
That's a combo in historic. In modern, you have a spike feeder. Which you don't have to have all the other all the other thing. Alright. So we have now a two card infinite combo, because you go remove a counter, gain two life, and then Heliod pumps the spike feeder. You go save targets and always yield, and you gain infinite life. You go to 40 and pass. Infinite life doesn't exist. But my opponent deck technically win with damage, so this should be good. It's not a GG. It's not a GG. Yeah, they have, infinite, they have Infect as well. There it is! Bam! Inkmot Nexus. Oh, okay, that's a walking barista. Okay. My Arbor Elf. Adieu, Arbor Elf. Terra. Bueno. Now... I go Sky Cleave. Ballistons are bad. Ballista's annoying, right? If they deal to them, issue Spike Feeder, Spike Feeder dies. Yeah, I think I have to go Walking Ballista and just accept the trade here. Yeah. Okay, I'll pop my Skycleave Operation and pass the turn. Go. Conclave Mentor is better than Artist Skills in my deck? Of course, I play Company. Good evening, Sayosan. Esper Sentinel, okay. Ozolita, okay. Draw. Uh, ta -da. Okay, so I can go Ranger. Pick up Arbor Elf. Cast it. I dead on board? I don't think so. Well, actually, I am. Hmm. Thought it was. Alright. Oh, they need a red mana to kill the Zabaz. Never mind. I was not dead on board. Draw. Land. Land wins the game. Because I have six mana with Walking Ballista and Elliot. If I don't draw land, what can I draw? Arbor Elf. That's basically a land. Except it's not. Alora! I don't really want to attack, so I'm just casting Walking Barista here. For two, which is good against Ink Moth. Then I also play the Arbor Elf and pass the turn. 
No, what you do there? With two cards in it. You packed the exile might no, but oh wait, wait, wait. Chat. If I sacrifice the ranger, this fizzle, right? Oh, this is a cool line. I'm gonna screenshot it. I love to Yeah. That's a fun thing. I love to screenshot fun stuff. So I'm going to sacrifice Ranger and the Heliod will no more be a creature, so Patu Exile Fizzle. Huh? That's cool, isn't it? And then I also play Arbor Elf and pass the turn. And next turn we have infinite uh, damage. So, um, in the future, in the future, in game three, I'm not gonna put a lot of weight into going infinite life because that's not really a big deal. It's not really a big deal to go infinite life in this matchup. The return lures, but they're just dead on board. This is a combo. Combo! So Heliod gives lifelink to walking barista. Okay. This is a combo that used to be a thing in Pioneer when Pioneer used to be a competitive format. When Magic used to have competitive formats that aren't on Arena. I remember I was playing Mono Black, but Mono White Heliod was a good deck. You have the Mirror Inverter, you have uh, Lotus Field Breach, but yeah, this combo also exists in modder. Thanks to Spike Feeder being a, a Times Power Master combo, two card combo. Okay, so uh, Arc Champion is really bad. But I really don't have anything for this match. Yeah, this two ley line should be thrown out of the window for anything else. Ah, whatever, let's go. Alright, isn't super medium? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Probably should mulligan, but it's not that I have like cyber cards to look for. I only have one drop to look for, but I draw it! Nice Katsu! Uh, let me go forest sprawl name planes. Name white, sorry. What happened to Pioneer? The story kill it. No, no one killed anything. COVID killed it. Just like it killed many other things. Alright. Ooh, another sprawl. Very sweet. Uh, do I want to go Pandalave and sprawl here? Yeah, I think so. I'm actually going to go Temple Guard because next turn I'm any four white. So I need to go Temple Guard in here. All right, I'm gonna go white. Skycleave Apparition Exile the Arba Ravager. By far the best card in that deck. Yeah, yeah, okay, do your thing, pass. All right, so I was looking for fast mana. I found fast mana. Now I need to find threats to play with those fast mana. I don't want to kill this because uh, I need it for my Heliod to be alive. Ooh, castle. This can fetch me the walking ballista. Okay, cool. Um, so I have. A Three, four, five. So I don't quite have. All right, this is okay. I'm gonna go Auric Champion first, and then Heliod, because the Heliod will be a creature, so it will uh, uh, gain a life and put a plus one plus one counter. Hmm. 
okay? Uh, what do I pump? Well, probably I just pump this. And now I pass. They make a token end of turn. Uh, pass, pass, no move. They make a token end of turn. I gain a life and put another counter. Should have definitely done it before, I think. But whatever. Yeah, go, go. It, this one requires me so much mana to combo with Eliod, so it definitely cannot happen next turn, but maybe the turn after. Okay, the Orc Champion plus Heliod keeps on pumping my creatures. Let's see what they get with Saga. They might get, what, Ozolith? Yeah. They play under Saga, sure. And they play Pithing Needle. Ooh, they stop Heliod this way, okay. They stop only the activated ability of Heliod. They don't stop the, every time a creature comes into play, I, sorry, every time I gain life, I put a plus one, plus one counter. So my Aura Champion here was nice. Even if it's a matchup without black or red cards, it's still a nice card. Yeah, they named the, the Sun Crown and they pass, I assume, because I have Indestructible. I draw a nice land here, okay. Um, I'm going to play the Captain of Yoss here. And uh, who do I pump? I don't really want to attack. Because if I attack, they block, they sacrifice the Ozolith, the blah blah blah. I pumped the Ballista itself. It, remember, the Elliot is stopped, so I can't gain infinite life. Uh, do I want to do something? Sorry, I can't uh, do anything, mostly. Was it good today? It was, it was. We went 3-1. Match felt all right. So here, let me repeat it. No, I think I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. We have to top deck Boseju, right? We have to top deck Boseju. I have Boseju in my deck, never drawing a single game in this league. I want to draw Boseju. They found Arkbound Ravager, unfortunately, though. But they don't do anything. They just want to make a construct. Okay. My Halo is indestructible. All right, come on. Boseju. Canopy. Canopy could be anything. Could even be a Boseju. A Nutch. A sub can put four minor. Yeah, I just pass again. Or can I find your list? Exclamation mark deck or on the screen or on Twitter or on Instagram. On the screen, there isn't a Boseju because I last the second added. But there is one Boseju over a forest. Yeah, I keep on pumping the walking barista, I think. Yep. Actually, while we're at it, I'm gonna just put a plus one, plus one counter now. So the uh, Ursus Saga makes a fourth construct. Yeah, I keep on pumping my Ballista. And they go get a card that cost one. They might get Zabaz here. They can really go crazy with the um, red mana. They got Welding Jar. Oh, Caputana. To protect the Pitting Needle now. All right, then Skakli Evaporation, Prismatic Ending, Company for Skakli Evaporation. I still have a lot of outs to combo here. Just remember, Pitting Needle is stopping Heliot for giving lifelink to the Ballista for the combo. The play Arkbound Ravager. And I keep on pumping my Ballista. And they go to combat. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, to do to. Aloha. 
Mm, I'm gonna go, okay, a five and a four. Is this okay? Take 18. No, aspetta che moro, mi sa. Mm, why die? How do I block? Is he just chump blocking? Is it just chum blocking? I hope to top that exhaust spell exactly last next turn. I think so. Yeah, I don't think I can get too not too frisky here. I just have to chum block, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, I guess I can chum block with this. Oh yeah, it's true. Now you gotta zero zero. Okay, let's go. Let's draw exhaust spell now. Company. Okay. Any believers in the chat? Do we have any believers? Come on. Sky Cleave Apparition. Now. Cazzarola con Clevemento de merda, ma che è? Who do I pump? Do I keep on pumping? Yeah, I keep on pumping ballista here. Pass. Spec feeder also does it. Yeah, it's true. Also spec feeder. Gain me infinite life. Dio caro, ma che cazzo, ma come? Uh, you go. All right, so older creatures are lethal. Is that true that older creatures are lethal? I think so, all right? I think all their creatures are lethal, so I just have to chump it all and just hope to top deck an exhaust spell next turn for the pithing needle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time. It's time to draw an exhaust spell. It's happening now. Okay. Okay. Oh, I lose to Inkmot Nexus? No, 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 I have Balisa. I don't lose to Nexus. It was lethal before. The Nexus just came into play, I think. Uh, so now I have infinite life. If I had kept the Conclave Mentor around, I would have also won the game. But I didn't. And I could have maybe played in a way where I didn't need to chum block it all. But I also didn't want to... I don't know. Yeah, but it'll be lethal with Menthor, I know. Yeah, this time I need so much life. It's not that many clicks, to be honest. I 
Infinite Life today? Yeah, Infinite doesn't exist. I wish I founded a spike feeder with company Lester and I would have won the game. Now, unfortunately, I decided to chum block with everything and I don't win the game anymore. But I survive. They have an Inkmoth Nexus, but they have a walking ballista with 10 counters on it. So they won't be they won't be able to uh, connect with the Nexus. It's just a 1-1 in toughness. Of course the opponent can't concede, what are you talking about? I have 9 minutes. I don't feel great about this game because of the timing uh, on Magic Online. Alright. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pass a ninety life. Actually, do I want to attack with Ballista? It's probably fine to attack, right? Yeah. I think I want to attack. Let's see what they do. Hmm. Do we want to try put remove a. Do we want to try pinging this? Let's see what happens now. Kind of forcing an issue here. Let's see what they do about this. They. What they do? What did they do? But they sacrificed Welding Jar to put a counter. Okay. They sacrificed what? A construct token to put a counter. All right. They sacrificed more construct token. All right. I'll put a plus one plus one counter. No, that's not true. Let me undo. Because with Spike Feeder, I can put two plus one plus one counter on the Ballista. With the Spike Feeder, you can pay two mana and you remove a plus one plus one counter from the Feeder and put it on the Ballista. So we killed all the Construct now. They sacrificed the Ozolith. They activate the Nexus. Sure. They sacrifice the Nexus to save the Ravager. I'll kill the Ravager again. But Lisa now has one counter on it. They sacrifice the Pithing Needle. That's weird. Now I'm gonna give, um, all right. Now, um, I'm gonna give uh, Walking Ballista Lifelink. I'm going to gain two life with Spike Feeder. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on the Ballista. And now with Ballista, I'm going to remove a plus one, plus one counter and ping them. And now I kill them. All right. Ping! So they probably could have just taken... No, actually, they probably would have just... Oh, I think... I don't know what do they, what they should have done. Maybe they just accept it and, and lose their Ravager. Yeah, I mean, opponent obviously lost this game. Yeah, they couldn't have taken the damage there, for sure. They should just chum block and 
just let their Ravager die. Yeah, like... Because, like, obviously they started a fight and they sacrificed the whole board and died. Alright, we went 4-1, losing to Grease's Shadow after beating a Shadow 2-0, so... That wasn't necessarily the worst performance by this deck. I played this deck only to beat Burn. I didn't play against Burn, but the deck performed well. It was a good, it was a good league. Uh, why for opponent Mickey Muthmet very good? No, there wasn't a way, no. How does MTGO re recognize Infinite Life? It doesn't. It doesn't. Their, their Ravager didn't die in the end. That's true, because they, they died with the Ravager still in play. Because I had lifelink of Elliot. Definitely a tricky deck. It was fun to play. Yeah. Yeah, the Pithing Needle... The Pithing Needle was something. I I mean, if I had to play this deck again, which I don't have to, um, I'm going to make this change. And if I had to stream with this deck again, I would for sure cut the Chalice of the Void so that chat doesn't suggest me to put it in the deck every time I sideboard. Maybe add four Sanctifier just to have a mono uh, hate card against the Rakdos uh, decks like Shadow.